What's up guys, AD back with another Destiny Child video and in today's video everyone, we are going to be checking out the developer notes that was recently released this night, so I wanted to check it out with you guys here as it's quite significant, they did toss out quite a few details here leading into 2023 for Destiny Child Global, so let's get started here with the developer's notes as you can see here, 2022 second half developer notes, I'll be sure to have this up on screen as we do have here dear candidates this is the dc devs in the second half of 2022 we met our candidates through the august summer update through october collaboration update so very nice here of course we did have those amazing summer events with the anemone ragna break as well as the land fey ragna break and we also did have the zini world boss which is pretty cool and then we had the guilty gear collaboration events in which we did not expect at all but it did happen and some amazing units and a ton of fun came out of that event so let's continue on here we have we would like to thank you again for your interest and support even though the difficult times around the world are not over yet in december there will be an update to commemorate the fourth anniversary of destiny child global so we sincerely look forward to your affection and interest today as we face the end of 2022 very soon we wish to briefly introduce the candidates with what will be showcased next year through the developers notes so this is where things get pretty spicy and exciting so as you can see here we have in january the january update along with the new year's celebration event we are also planning to apply the receive all button for the boss kill rewards in raids so that candidates can more conveniently receive rewards from future raids so this is definitely a big 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 quality of life change here heading into destiny child global of course in january so we could expect this for our ragna break in january which would definitely be a ton of help as of course redeeming rewards here in ragna break is definitely a pain as of course if you're grinding the events very hard then spamming all of those claim buttons is definitely time consuming so a claim all button added to the ragna break side of destiny child is absolutely absolutely beautiful i can't wait for this as the quality of life is massive there now moving on we have gratefully many candidates have sent us positive responses to the improvements of convenience futures so definitely they have been knocking it out of the ballpark here with the sweet functions now with this new receive all button for the raid so definitely some amazing quality of life has been added to destiny child global as well as across all servers so i'm definitely very happy with this and hopefully they do manage to keep this up heading into 2023 in the second half of course now for the second half here in the first half of 2023 additional puppets and spacewalk cluster three to test out more meticulous strategies are scheduled for an update so additional puppets will be added in the first half of 2023 we're not sure when but of course sometime in the first half of 2023 so new puppets is always very exciting as of course the puppets are still new to pretty much all of us and don't worry i'll be sure to have that puppet guide here on the channel very very soon so don't worry that's will be coming and we also do have the spacewalk cluster 3 will be added which is definitely very difficult and scary to be added but I'm looking forward to it. A new challenge nonetheless is very nice to see here and constant rewards as well as challenges here on Destiny Child Global are very welcome even though they're pretty tough. But let's move on. Moreover, we are preparing to bring a new underground difficulty and related updates for high level candidates. So me here and then we have, so please look forward to them as well. So I'm sure most of you as well, but definitely some amazing fun here as we will have the underground difficulties be increased as we will have a new mode as we've seen on destiny child jp as well as korea in which they have the underground hell mode which is definitely a tough challenge so i'd look forward to this as well and of course we'll have the details later in 2023 and moving on we do also have related updates like they mentioned we're not sure what they'll be adding but maybe it'll be the race challenge events we have seen around in korea and jp but we're not quite so sure 
but definitely the new underground difficulty will be amazing as we haven't had any changes to underground since the launch of destiny child global so definitely four years in you know it's pretty late but i mean it's coming nonetheless so something finally being added to the underground is very nice as that feature right now is just pretty bland since you can just sweep it now moving on in terms of convenience features we are trying to develop a new interface that allows you to view hot springs on the home screen and optimize the home screen accordingly so please kindly wait a little longer so this would definitely be very beautiful for the home screen update so a new home screen update is in the works here for destiny child so viewing your hot springs on the home screen would definitely be such a massive quality of life change as i'm sure many of you don't even want to head into the infernal spa realm button in the night world so if they add this to the home screen this would be so nice a quality of life feature like this and then if they add like a refresh button alongside there for your spa characters it would definitely be huge for destiny child so hopefully they add this very very soon of course it's in the works they didn't confirm a date for this but this is definitely very nice to hear that is in the works they know how the spa does work they know that is pretty difficult so I'm definitely very happy to see this in the developer update and of course a dev update regardless. But yeah, very, very nice here. Hopefully this is added very soon as this will be a massive QOL change. Now, next up heading into the second half of the dev update here, we have the regarding story. So I'm sure many of you love the Destiny Child story as we have here, Destiny Child Global has had an update cycle and order based on what was previously serviced in Japan. Now, now, however, as an exception, the 2022 summer update and collaboration update were applied first so that the global candidates could also enjoy the latest content at the same time as other regions, which is honestly very understandable as it would have felt pretty crappy if the other servers received a collab and we received some old event. So I do understand why they postponed some story and then we received the Guilty Gear Strive collab as well as the summer events so i don't mind that at all but of course they are addressing the story here so let's continue on as a result of this some mismatches occurred between the order of the story and the order of the viewing now we would like to apologize once again to the candidates who have experience and convenience in watching the story. We would like to use this as an opportunity to sincerely inform you that the stories omitted due to the latest content updates are not excluded from future update specifications. They will soon be added back to the existing schedule so that the candidates can watch all of these stories. Now in order to prevent any inaccurate information, please kindly refer to the update order currently being considered as follows. Now the winter season update will be updated in December at the same time as other regions as well as the Acrasia and Duetsha raid and Dianis and Grendel narrative dungeon are expected to follow in January. So you could expect this Ragnar break event and of course narrative dungeon to be added in January. If you guys were looking forward to those story events they will be added in January of 2023. Now heading into February, the Ishimi and Sarasu raid as well as the Lightbari and Marduk world boss are being prepared to meet the candidates as well. Now we will make sure to provide further details through Lisa's calendar in accordance with each update. So this is very nice here as I'm sure many of you were pretty confused in which when they did add the Zini world boss and of course Lanfei Ragna break and the Anemone Ragna break which did have some future characters that we don't don't even know about yet in the story added into that dialogue so they definitely did formally apologize and did admit why they did manage to do so as of course they didn't want us to miss out on the collaboration events and summer events so this is definitely very understandable and hopefully you guys do understand why they did this so they did manage to address here that the Acrisia and Duesha raid will be added in January alongside the Dianis and Grandal narrative dungeon 
Dungeon, and of course in February, the Ishimi and Sarasu Raid, as well as the Light Bari and Marduk World Boss will be added then. Now to wrap up the developer notes here everyone, this was a brief introduction to what updates are being planned. Please kindly understand the information provided may inevitably be rescheduled or adjusted depending on the development schedules. We will strive hard to live up to the interest and supports that our candidates sent to Destiny Child Global. Now once again, we wish to deliver our sincerest thanks to our candidates. We hope you have a great time with the 4th anniversary and New Year's update at Destiny Child. So that'll pretty much do it for the developer updates here for Destiny Child Global heading into the new year and of course for the first half of 2023. So make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you guys do think of the upcoming events as well as be sure to check out the other Destiny Child videos here I have on the channel if you guys are interested as well as be sure to leave a like on this video and of course subscribe to the channel. Also be sure to check out the links in the description box below to my my Twitter accounts, as well as to my Discord server and of course Twitch channel. But with all of that being said, I'll catch you all in the next Destiny Child video. As always, thank you all so much for watching.